think that for the age group that he's in and in Ghana, he can be easily considered a great pace setter. Even, even beyond Ghana, you know, for a young guy to have access and control of, of the networks that are under him and he's running under EIB, very, very commendable. You know, so I think this is something very clear for everybody to see that he has raised the bar. You know, he's raised the bar to a very commendable level and it's, it's a bar of excellence. I don't think anybody can count the number of awards Bolare has received um, since he started his career and the fact that he transitioned from being um, a disc jockey to a CEO of a, of a media group. He's also an entrepreneur with this empire business and so many things that he does in the media and the entertainment front. So he's a man with a lot of achievements and it's great that he's been able to document what he has achieved. He has always been focused on doing new and big things. New and big things that shake the landscape. And I think from what he's done on television to what he's done on Radio One who are Joy FM to what he's done even in his current space, he has been consistently ambitious in doing big, bold, new things that create value both for players and for advertisers. He's been one of the reasons a lot of people have been able to cross and do Ghana and Nigerian collaborations. Uh, one of my meetings with the Mavens was in 2011 when I was at the Ghana Meets Niger. That was when I met Don Jazzy for us to have a network. Bolare was the first person who played my song on radio. Him and Greg Mengel. This was in 1999. He's the first person who granted me my first interview in 1999 or 2000. You know, and since then he's been on radio till today. I mean, moved from Universe, Top FM, Joy FM, Star. I mean, now you know, running CEO of the whole. EIB network. He's he's a he's a pillar. He's a giant in the entertainment industry.